say hi if you're here. Let me know that you're here because I can't see if you're coming on or not. Hmm. Hi, Margaret. I just came on for a little bit. I told everybody I would, so um, I am doing some a little few things to the doll just while my dinner's cooking, and then I have to go. And I have, actually have an earlier day than I thought tomorrow, so um, I'm just showing people how I'm doing what I'm doing, um, mottling and pinking, and I used its see sea sponge. Those actually work the best for that. <clears throat> And I take the color that I have mixed for that and I just put it on the sponge with a brush because I don't want to get it too, too wet. And then I dab it a little bit and then I just take it and do this all over the kit. Very simple. That just gives that newborn redness that they have, the blotchy redness. So that's all that is. So I'm just doing that. Then my next step after that will be another warming layer which warming layers kind of tone down your other colors if they're a little bit too much and it also deepens the flesh color I like my dolls to be a little bit darker not too pale who else is here I see Margaret but who else is here I see there's two people somebody's hiding don't know who it is Are you going to come out of hiding and tell me who you are? Margaret, can you see who else is watching? I'm just curious. I like when people say hello. Don't be a stalker. <laughs> they left. So how's everything with you? Good, I hope. We uh, we just went out to the Goodwill. I was bored and wanted something to do, so that's what we did. <clears throat> Found a few things. I always do. Well, you guys don't celebrate that there. And we have a second person back again. Who is in hiding again. All I'm seeing is that there's two people watching. I'm not seeing... 
who comes in. I usually do. Not today. So what did you guys all do today? I woke up, got ready, went to the thrift store, pretty much spent the day there <laughs> looking around at stuff and uh, came home, put dinner in and here I am. And that's that. And I'm not going to be on here for long because as soon as the chicken's done, I got to go because I got to eat. And relax. Hello, Lisa. How are you? Yeah, well, that's what I was doing was nothing. And then I got bored and I dragged my husband out to the, <laughs> to the Goodwill. <laughs> oh, Lord. Well, I like thrifting, and I always find some really cool stuff. Um, I actually found, I don't think my aunt's even into the African stuff anymore, but I found some, uh, I found a really cool vase, and it's actually, on the bottom it says right on it that it was made in Ghana, which I thought was really cool, so I had to get it. Um, I always look at the baby clothes there for the dolls. And I always find some really good deals. So, um, I found um, you ran nine miles. Nice. And two miles on the elliptical. Good, to, good, good. I couldn't do it. <laughs> good for you. Awesome. Um, yeah, no. Um, what was I going to say? Oh. I don't know if you guys know anything about um, wine glasses and stuff, but uh, there's a line of wine glasses, martini glasses. They're made from a lady. Um, they're called Lolita, hand painted. They sell for twenty five dollars a piece, but I picked them up at the thrift store for like a dollar something. So whenever I find them, I usually grab them. I have a whole bunch of them. There was a whole bunch today, but um, I just didn't want to spend the money. I don't know if I would have been able to resell them because I don't have any room in my cabinet for any more. But they're very pretty. Um, my employer actually has a bunch of them. But uh, yeah, when it, I mean, you can't beat the prices on some of the stuff there, so. I tend to frequent that store, um, or I go to the outlet. Hello, I just saw that you came on. How are you? My aunt just came on. Just doing more of the dolls <clears throat> until dinner is done. And my phone just went off. I don't know if that was my boss or not. Um, how are you? I was just telling these guys about the uh, Goodwill I went to today. And I found a vase that was made in Ghana. It actually says in Ghana. I'm sorry you're tired. So I had to buy it because it was really cheap. I think it was like, it was under $3. So I bought it. Um, bought some doll clothes, bought some, well, baby clothes for the dolls. Bought some other stuff and then uh, decided it was time to come home. Because we have to eat and I have to be up at 
7.45 to get ready for work, so I need to get this stuff done. Then I work straight through until um, Friday. Then I'm off Friday, and then I have to work Saturday. I'm showing... Oh, the vase you mean you want, you want me to show you? Is that what you're talking about? Hi, Renee. Did you want to see the the vase, Auntie? Okay, give me a second and I'll go grab it. It's sitting right out in the other room. I just have to go grab it. It's really cool. Um, I mean, you can tell it wasn't made here just by the way it looks. All right, uh, give me one second. I'll be right back and I'll show it to you. Stay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, this is it. See that? Oh, thank you. Those are the ones that my boss gave me for my for the our anniversary. These leaves are um, actually like ceramic, and then it's got the, the like the wicker up here, and then on the bottom. You won't be able to see that because it's in it's back it's backwards on here. But it says um I can't even remember. it's something ceramics and then it says Ghana. It's right on the bottom. Yeah, I know, isn't that pretty? I had to have that. I'm just like I don't buy a whole lot of stuff from Africa anymore, but just because it was made in Africa, in Ghana, and because we were there, I had to get this. And I paid, it was under $3. Can you believe that? <laughs> I know, I do too. So, it was the only one they had, and I had to have it. So I grabbed it. Um, and then I got a couple of those Lolita glasses that I like for myself, and I put the rest back, and I got, um couple pacifiers you can usually find them sometimes you cheap for the dolls and um, little things like that I like to pick up at the thrift stores because they're cheap and doll clothes baby clothes I got some really cute outfits they were half off today because of the color and I got them for like a dollar ninety eight or no actually a dollar fifty for two piece outfits for the dolls so um, I find all kinds of really good deals there I just you just have to look but um yeah my mottling is coming out nicely um I really need to get these dolls finished that's why I was like I have to get on here for a little bit so yeah you would love it down here because our thrift stores are cheaper than up there I know in Canada they're well I was with you so I find some really good stuff I am definitely a bargain shopper and when you do this you have to be to save money when you're making these dolls anything and everything I have found packs of um, unopened pantyhose really cheap because I, I use the stockings when I put the filling inside the doll things like that every way to save money so, 
I can't wait to see what these guys are going to look like when they're done. Or should I say girls? Um, I already have a person who is very interested in the one that I'm doing right now. The crying baby. She's going to be cute. I actually, I was going to keep her, but... I guess if somebody wants to buy her, I'll part with her. She's a limited edition... So we have, I don't know how much time we have, but I'll do this until that oven goes off and then I'm going to have to say bye-bye until whenever I can get back on. My boss just did message me. That's what took me a little bit longer. She said that uh, the hours changed a little bit, so I don't have to be there. Well, I have to be there 15 minutes later and I get to leave a little earlier. So maybe when I get home from work tomorrow, I can jump back on after and do a little bit more. Um, you know that big boy, that doll that I made for that lady, auntie, that Joseph? Um, they have the Joseph Awake kit on sale right now for $49 instead of $80. Um, but she doesn't have the money to get it because she wants the Awake to go with the Asleep. So, uh, when she gets the money, she's going to give it to me so I can make it. But that's a really good price on that kit because that's an $80 kit. Yeah. And um, that's for the Awake doll. And you saw how cute the, the, that the one came out. So the Awake should be really cute too. But she can't do anything about it right now. And I don't have the money to do it for her. So uh, she's going to have to wait until she can afford it because I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. Technically, if I had the money, that would be a really good idea. Even Dan was saying that, um, to be able to buy a couple of those kits and make them up and then sell them. But I don't, I can't, I don't have it to, to do. I mean, spending 20 bucks at the store and spending 100 bucks is a little different. Um, how long have I been making them? Um... I'm trying to think. I I can't. Um Auntie, how when do you remember when I started making these? Because I don't. It's been over a year. Maybe close to two. Maybe somewhere in there. Between one and two years. Um I just decided I just decided one day that I was going to try doing it myself instead of paying somebody else to do it. And um I just kept going. I just kept telling myself you can do better, you can do better, you can do better and I've been I've gotten much 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 better. Um Dan says that he thinks I got really good. He's been watching. He watches my progression as I go doll to doll and make different dolls and he says that I've gotten a, a lot better now than I used to be. It's been over two? I didn't know that. See how fast time goes? Um, I didn't even know it's been that long. But uh, I've come a long way since I started. That's for sure. Um, when I first started doing the dolls, I wasn't really the greatest at the um, what I'm doing right now, like the mottling, I wasn't that great at, at, um, the coloring of the skin. I was, you know, my babies were all coming out looking like they were, um, Latino babies. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you so much. It takes practice. That's for sure. Just, well, like anything does. The more you do it, the better you get. The more practice. And that's what I'm doing. At least, um, it's all I can do. I don't put other artists down out there. I mean, I've seen other people, though, that have been doing it longer than me that I don't think are that good. But everybody has their own technique. Everybody has their own ways. But, um, 
The only thing that I do differently is I don't charge an arm and a leg. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. I, uh, I try. I do. I put my all into what I do, and I love doing it, so... It's very, very calming and very relaxing for me, it is. Um, when you have anxiety, something like this is really good. So, I enjoy it. It's not just... I don't just do it for money, I do it because I like to do it. Oh my goodness. So did everybody eat dinner? I'm waiting on mine to get done. We are having chicken. Decided to do shake and bake. So it was quick. It's quick and easy. You just shake it, bake it, eat it. Then you're done. Then we stopped at uh, Taco Bell because Dan was like starving. So he, had, he wanted to eat something. But uh, I had a Watermelon Freeze, I don't know if anybody has had one of those from Taco Bell, but they're really weird. They have, they have like a Jolly Rancher watermelon taste to them, and then inside of it, it has, they look like seeds, but they're candy. Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot you're, you're three hours behind us. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that's funny. Not trying to make you hungry. I'm I'm hungry too. I didn't eat since breakfast, but uh Dan had to have a snack, so that's what we did cuz he takes blood pressure medication and stuff, so <laughs> Um Whoopsie. I think you're the only one here. I think everybody else disappeared. So, yeah. So this is what I do. Whoopsie. This is what I do uh, when I have spare time to do it. You need to come and visit again. It's been a little too long. And now we don't live in a little one-bedroom apartment. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. <clears throat> nah. Well, whenever I do these live videos, people come and go. They just jump on, jump off, jump on, jump off. It'll go from one person to two people to four people, back down to one person. I don't know if it's because they do it intentionally. I think it's just because that's sometimes that's what Facebook does. People get kicked off or they lose their connection. It happens to me all the time. But Yeah, anyways, so now we have a two-bedroom... I sleep in my own room. Um, we have a two bedroom, but it's it's a decent sized house, and we have a we actually have a sleeper sofa now. And I have my own car now. Cause remember last time we were kind of stuck all the time. Um, Yeah, it would be nice if you could get down here. I know, it's been forever. Like I said, you know, I could even take you with me to work. You could meet the kids, which she wouldn't care. She's pretty, she's nice like that. We could go do something. I swear I have no friends. Nobody down here ever gets a hold of me to do anything, which really sucks, but. So I'm kind of a loner. 
when I'm not working. I don't really... I ask people all the time, but nobody ever wants to do anything, so... Poor Dan gets dragged out with me. Oh, they're adorable, Lisa. I don't know if you saw the pictures of them on my Facebook or not, but um, adorable, adorable little boys. Court is four and Kellen is a year. Like he's just starting to, like he babbles a lot and he tries to say words and stuff. It's really cute. Um, definitely adorable. Yeah, well, make, it does make you feel bad. It's like, geez, nobody likes me. What did I do? <laughs> you know? But, that's all right. I always find something to do anyways. But, um... Yeah, I mean, there's lots of stuff to do as far as down here. I just don't have anyone to do it with, and I hate doing things by myself. Well, there you go. See, all the more reason for you to come down and visit. Then we can hang out and find something to do. I don't know if you're into thrift stores and stuff, but oh my gosh, um, we got lots of them down here and lots of other things to do as well. Well, if you want to come down, just let me know. You are more than welcome. It's just a matter of um, you being able to get off of work or whatever to come down. But not a problem. I'd probably be in shock because I've been trying to get people to come down here for... Let's see. Hmm. I'm trying to think of the last visitor we had. And I'm talking visitor, not intruder. Um, I hate when people intrude but don't visit. Um, it's been a while. Definitely been a while. So, I'm due for some company. It'll be really nice. Trying to get this baby to come out nice and red because she's supposed to be a preemie and she's supposed to look newly born and very small. Okay, let's see. Okay. Maryland. Yep. Been there. Actually, my mom is uh, buried there somewhere. It is pretty there. Well, like I said, you know, just let me know. Um... All you got to do is say, hey, um, I can come down such and such a time and just let me know. It, I won't say no. Uh, <laughs> like I said, we've got, we've got the sleeper sofa now. Um, so you don't have to worry about that. No sleeping on the floor on a blow-up mattress <laughs> or anything. Oh my gosh, what did you, I don't even remember last time, I don't know if you slept on the couch or if you slept on an air mattress, I don't remember. Um, 
I know that that freaking apartment was so small. And then we moved into uh, the house that we had built, which was uh, a big house. It was three bedrooms, but it was like seven over 1,700 square feet. And we had three bedrooms, two bathrooms, family room, living room, dining room, kitchen, two-car garage. It was big. And then we went from that into another small place and... We flip-flopped all over from size to size, but um, never into a one-bedroom again. That's crazy. I don't even know how we did that. So now we are in a two-bedroom that is over a 1,000 square feet and has... I mean, it, it doesn't have as much room as the house did, but it has... Uh, Two bathrooms, uh, one in the garage that just has a toilet and a shower, and one in the house, which is a full bath. And then we have uh, a sunroom, which is where I'm sitting right now. And the kitchen, which is really big. And uh, it's like an eat kitchen. And then um, a little dining spot where the table is, and then uh, the living room. Bedrooms are, oh, my bedroom's big anyways. Um, yeah, I, I can't, I can't do snoring, so I started sleeping on my own, um, back when we had our house, <laughs> and I, and I got used to it, so that's kind of what I do now. I've got my room, he's got his room. I like it that way. He sleeps with the dog, I sleep with my dolls, some of them. So you can either sleep on the bed or on the couch or we can be like teenagers and have a sleepover and stay up and talk all night. <laughs> That's funny. But uh, yeah, I mean, we got the space so it won't be overcrowded. She looks nice and pink, I think. Pink, I think. You can't tell on here. Oh, this lighting is terrible. But yeah, she's... Oh, forget it. Yeah, I'll, I'll take pictures when they're done. Um, but she looks nice and pink. You sleep on your couch. Oh, yeah. Oh, you've got one of those high, high beds, huh? I had one of those, not anymore. Well, I didn't get rid of it because it was too high. I got rid of it because I kept walking into the frame. There goes the oven. I kept uh, walking into the oven and bruising my, my legs up. So I decided that enough was enough and uh, I don't have it anymore. <laughs> so I went back to just a little steel frame, the simple steel frame because I was a klutz and always walking into it. Yeah. Trying to get Lisa to come down again. Oh, Dan is getting the chicken out of the oven. He hides. I'm doing my video. He hides. But he makes funny noises. He makes funny noises when I'm doing it. I actually posted a video up on YouTube and after the fact, <laughs> after the fact, I realized uh, what he did. He thinks it's funny. I didn't think it was very funny. It was very embarrassing. Why don't you come stick your face and say hi? Oh, come on. Grouch. Trying to get him to say hello. You are not shy. Come say hello. Let's see, the only person that's on is Lisa. You can come say hi. Nobody else likes me. Nobody else wants to stay on. No, not the dog. You. 
Oh, lovely. I have a puggle. Say hello. Lisa said, oh, come on, Dan. She wants you to come say hi. That looks like the Grim, grim Reaper. Just come say hi. I look like the Grim Reaper. You look like the Grim Reaper. Come say hi. Yeah. Just come say hi. Hello. Oh, my gosh. I'm uh, Walk uh, out uh, here. Come here. Uh, here, come here. Yeah, go over there. No, you, not the dog. Come here. Come here. What? I could just pick up the phone and turn it around, but or the iPad, but I won't do that. Hi. Come here. What's so special? Just come here and say hi. I'm 60 pounds overweight. And oh, great Lord. And old. You're 60 pounds. <laughs> Put your face hey. in. <laughs> See? We said don't do it. He's funny. <laughs> All right, mouth. Okay. Uh huh. Hold on. Want to see what's making all the noise? Look. That's what's making all the noise. Over here. There you go. Aw. Okay, that's enough. Go. <laughs> Lisa said hi, Dan. Uh, yeah. Hello. He said hi. 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 Hello. Hi. Hello. Oh, great. Okay. Sure. So. Over. Yeah, he's he's a spoiled big baby. Here. He's a pug and beagle mix. It's a puggle, and uh, he's a character. He is a one of a kind. Are you a character? He is. Are you a character? <laughs> Who are you? Are you the woo? <laughs> You're the woo? <laughs> He's just are trying to make him make noise. That's what he does. So anyways. I love you. Yeah, my little Shih Tzu. Remember my Shih Tzu that I had, Lisa? That my, my dad's dog that I had had? He, uh... He made it to 12, and then he passed on, which was very upsetting because that was my dad's dog. And then uh, we ended up going and looking for... I wanted another Shih Tzu because I like them. So does my aunt. And um, we were at the shelter, and there was there was him sitting in the cage. But he was little. He was smaller at the time. We got him. He was like 10 months old. And... Um, he was just looking up at us with this sad look, like, take me home. And he was, like, really quiet, and we fell for him right away. And um, we did a visit with him, and then we decided we were going to take him. And um, we brought him home, and he wasn't used to being in a house. And he, we had this, uh, we have these basket things with, like, bamboo shoots sticking out of them. And he saw the one... And he sat there and he barked at it for like an hour and he just wouldn't stop. Then he saw a piggy bank on my dresser and he was barking at that. So it took him a while to get used to being inside. Um, he did he did poop in the house, um, got his butt whooped, and then after that he stopped. And um, I mean, ever since then, he's he's an awesome dog. I've never had a dog with a personality like this one does. He's... Uh, He's completely different from any dog I've ever had. Uh, definitely a good dog. He does not like other people. Well, he doesn't bite people. He doesn't like other guys. That's he's. I guess he thinks he's the alpha. I don't know. But uh, <laughs> he like he won't let me and Dan touch each other, which that's hilarious because <laughs> we do it just to annoy him. Um. But if another guy comes in the house, oh no, he he doesn't like it. If a girl comes in the house, yeah, he'll sniff you, he'll check you out, but he doesn't flip out like he does if a guy comes in here. He's a very good watchdog. Okay, I'm almost done, but I'm going to have to actually go. Your aunt has... Yeah, my aunt my aunt has more than 
a Shih Tzu. A Mohawk? That's got to be cute. Yeah, halfway there. <laughs> yes, he is. He is halfway there. He, in certain expressions that he makes, you can really see the pug. You can see the little wrinkles and the way that his ears sit. Um, but then when he gets outside, he's all beagle. Because when he goes outside and you try to, and you call him, forget it. He's like in his own little world out there. But as far as the, I mean like pugs are very friendly and affectionate and always want to be with their owners and, um, Beagles are the opposite. They're very independent. They don't really want to be bothered with anybody or anything. And he doesn't have that. He's got the pug part where he always wants to know what's going on. He always wants to be with you. He always wants to be babied. Like constantly. To the point where it gets annoying. Um, oopsie. He thinks he's a lap dog. But he's not. He's bound and determined to be one so if you pet him and rub his belly and his rub his butt actually <laughs> he'll be your best friend because that's what he likes okay this little girl definitely has to be red because she is supposed to be crying so she needs she needs to look like she's all red and upset. And... Yeah, I think she's going to be really cute. And I really wish I could keep her, but the lady who wants to buy her really, really, really likes her. Which, I hate that when I make kits that I want to keep. Um, maybe she'll change her mind and I'll keep her. <laughs> Just because I'm I'm collecting limited edition kits and that's what she is and uh, so when I make them I tend to want to keep them now. Okay. You know, time flies by when I do this. Um, trying to write, it's not showing how long I've been on here, but I know it's been a while. Sorry, I'm just trying to clean up. There we go. Get this paint off of the back of her ear. She looks really good. I am impressed. Okay. When I'm impressed, that's pretty good because I'm not always impressed in what I do. All right, so... I'm done with that. Um, wow, really? Where did that time go? Okay. I was only going to get on here for like 20 minutes or 25 minutes, and then next thing you know, it all this time goes by. Okay. So, I'm rinsing off my brush and getting ready to... Cut it out here. Um, Lisa, keep in touch with me. Um, see what you can do about getting any time to be able to come down here. Um, I mean, if you come down, you're going to want to be down here for at least a few days. I would, I mean, I don't know. I would say a week, but I don't know if you can get that long. Um, but you definitely need a little bit of time so that we can get to do some stuff. Because, like, a couple of days, two or three days is going to go by really quick and you're not going to want to leave. You're like, well, we didn't have any time. So, yeah, see what you can do. Let me know. And um, whenever you can get down would be great. Dan is actually, he's not working because he's on disability. So, as far as getting you from the airport, I mean, if, if I'm working and I can't do it, I'm sure he could do it. Not a problem. You're one of the people that he likes, <laughs> which says a lot. He doesn't like a lot of people, so. I do, too. Oh, no, you don't. <coughs> I, I, I'm not going to start naming them on, the, on here when I'm live, but there are people you do not like. So, 
I bought him this plaque and it says, um, all I care about is coffee and what? And maybe, I think it says like maybe three people. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, it would definitely be good to see you though. It's been a long time. You can come see all my dolls. I've got a big, big collection of them. And uh, maybe when you're here, you could actually watch me, get to watch me do one. So. But, um. Alright, so. Have a good night. I know it's earlier where you are, but have a good night. Um, enjoy your dinner, if you have dinner. And I will catch up with you soon. I'm going to be working. Let's see. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. So I'll try to get out here again Friday. But. All right. Thank you. All right, guys. Uh, well, I guess it's just Lisa. <laughs> and anyone else who decides to jump on here later, sorry that you missed it. And um, I will be back again on Friday at some point. I'll let you all know when. Have a great night. Bye.